Hey guys, what's going on? This is Carl, the citizen. And I wanted to share with you, this is not a state of emergency. This is not an epidemic. And we should open California now. Okay, here's my facts. The California Emergency Services Act defines a state of emergency as the duly proclaimed existence of conditions of disaster or of extreme peril to the safety of persons and property within the state caused by such conditions as air pollution, fire, flood, uh, storm, epidemic, riot, drought, sudden and severe energy shortage, <clears throat> plant and animal infestation or disease, which by reason, here's the key, which by reason of their magnitude are or are likely to be beyond the control of the services, personnel, equipment, and facilities of a single county, city and county, or city, and require the combined forces of a mutual aid region or regions to combat. So essentially what that means is it's beyond the ability for us to combat it and control it, all right, and defeat it, okay? So <clears throat> with that being said, let's look at the flu. Okay, now I know this is not the flu. COVID-19 is not the flu. I get that. However, hear me out. Page 24 of the California Department of Health report from 2018 reports that the death due to influenza pneumonia uh, at just over 6,000 over a uh, per year average over three years from 2014 to 2016. Now the CDC says the average flu season <clears throat> peaks from late November uh, through March, okay? Uh, and if it takes the deaths, if we take the deaths from COVID-19 for California, <clears throat> the California Department of Public Health claims 2,934 deaths as of yesterday or today, the, four, the 13th. <clears throat> now, I'm not even going to go into the recent revelations about hospitals and Medi-Cal paying um, and Medicare paying an extra $13,000 per patient um, that is, uh, you know, reported as a COVID-19 case um, or the C no, I'm not even, and I'm not even going to go into the CDC guidance on how to report probable cases of COVID-19 on death certificates so they can, again, get more money. Um, <clears throat> But if the average flu deaths, <clears throat> hear me out, if the average flu deaths are 6,000 per year and the claimed deaths of COVID-19 are less than half of that number, where exactly does that match the definition of a state of emergency? Right? State of emergency. Something we can't control, something we can't conquer, something we can't defeat. Okay? Remember, by reason of their magnitude, are or are likely to be beyond the control of the services, beyond the control. Less than half, guys, less than half. <clears throat> this is not beyond our capabilities. Our hospitals are not overwhelmed. In fact, we're having to, um, to lay off and, and furlough thousands of nurses and doctors because of the shortage of no patients, which is great. I mean, I don't like people being in a hospital anyways. Okay, but let's move on. So let's, let's, let's recap. As defined by California's own Emergency Services Act law, COVID-19 is not an epidemic. Is it a real virus? Yes. Is, is any life valuable and tragic when we lose it? Yes. But an epidemic, this is not. Should we, do, should we do exactly what we were taught in kindergarten? Don't put that in your mouth, Billy. Keep your hands to yourself, Billy. And wash your hands often, Billy. Yes, we should. Finally, <clears throat> as I close, Section 8567B of the aforementioned California Emergency Services Act states, whenever the state of emergency has been terminated, the order and regulation shall be of no further force or effect. So, if the definition of the cause of the state of emergency epidemic, okay, remember, that's our cause. We are not in one of those. 
If it is no longer valid, the state of emergency is therefore terminated. Here's another one, big one for you. Just to add one more bit of law to my argument, section 8627.5 of the Emergency Services Act states, the temporary suspension of any statute, ordinance, regulation, or rule shall remain in effect until the order or regulations <clears throat> is rescinded by the governor, the governor proclaims the termination of emergency, or for a period of 60 days, whichever occurs first. So March 4th, 2020 to May 14th, 2020, that's 72 days now. 72 days. I think that's 12 days over 60 if, you, if, I, if I know my math right. And uh, I do. It's time to open up, California. Your own law says you can.